Okay, welcome to 8.1 Vibrations. This is the start of a new unit, um, Sound and Waves, and I'm excited about this unit. I think it's a lot of fun. I am, um, as well as a teacher and a scientist, I'm also a musician, and I think that this unit does a really good job of teaching us some of the ideas of how sound and music and all these things actually work. There's some very cool stuff in it, and I'll get to do some demonstrations in class where we use some actual instruments and see how, what they sound like. So that should be fun. Um, now, on your handout, I believe the first two boxes are already filled out, so that's just fine. We'll fill them out again. So, first off, a vibration. That's the topic of this lesson. A vibration is a cyclical motion about an equilibrium. And there's a few words here. The first one's cyclical. That means that it's repeating. It's uh, periodic. It means that it's going back and forth in a cycle. And uh, so we have a cyclical motion, a repeating motion about an equilibrium. And our equilibrium, this is, uh, this is our middle point. or rest position. So if it helps, maybe you can think of um, like a grandfather clock and the big pendulum in one of those, if you know what a pendulum is. It goes back and forth, and its rest position is where it's pointing straight up and down. But it goes off to the left and then off to the right. It's going back and forth in a cyclical motion, where its equilibrium is that middle point there. So that's what we're talking about. Vibrations are just where something vibrates back and forth. Now, we have another idea here, which is a mechanical wave. And this is where this is the transfer of energy, of energy. And we just learned all about energy. So it's the transfer of energy through a medium. Through a medium. by vibration. So we're causing this medium, this, and I'll explain what a medium is in a second, but we're causing it to vibrate and that helps us send energy all the way through it. So what is a medium? A medium is just a medium is the material that permits the energy to vibrate. So the material that is vibrating. And so we just call that the medium. For instance, in the picture to the right here, we have a wave traveling through water. In that case, water is the medium. But you could have a wave traveling through a solid block of wood, or you could have it traveling through gas, uh, through the air. You can have it traveling through anything. Whatever it's traveling through, that is the medium. Okay, and our last thing here, um, net motion. So, this is the, let's say, the, the displacement of a, of a particle. The displacement of a particle in the medium And what I'm going to say is that this is normally zero. It's normally zero, which means we usually have no net motion. And this is an important idea, that our mechanical waves transfer energy through a medium by sending these vibrations through it, but the only thing that moves is the vibration. And the actual particles don't move at all. The particles stay exactly where they are. And we'll, s we'll look at that with the picture to the right here. We have water, and at the beginning here we have our still water, and on the bottom we have a wave moving through that water. And the idea of how this wave actually moves through the water is that um, it's energy. This wave is energy, and what the energy is doing is it's causing, if we look at some particle of water here, it's causing that particle of water to have moved up a bit. And you can see that the particle of water here, right under the boat, has moved up by that much. So you can see that 
that all these particles have sort of moved up a bit. But the important thing here is that they're not, they are not moving this way. So I'm just going to un undo that because they're not doing that. They're not moving to the right. The particles move up, and when the wave passes, they move right back down to where they were before, back to their rest position, back to their equilibrium. And in the end, if you looked at those particles, they would be exactly where they, w where they were when they began. And that's this idea that there's net motion of zero. So that's a really important idea. All that's transferring is the energy. In this wave, in this water wave, what's happening is that the particles are sort of being forced upwards and then they're falling back down. And as they fall back down, they push the particles beside them upwards. And then the particles beside fall down and, and they, they keep on pushing this energy to the right. But it's just the energy that's moving. Okay. Uh, we'll see a lot more of that in this unit, but that's a ver very important idea, is that the energy moves, but the medium itself doesn't. All right. Number two here, particle behavior in different media. So uh, I guess what we want to say here is that in solids, waves in solids, um, solids are very efficient at transmitting waves. which means that the waves the waves go far and fast so we're talking about mechanical waves here so in a solid remember we're sending a vibration through the material so if you look at the picture that are right here we have a picture of a solid and maybe this guy this whole uh, molecule here is being caused to vibrate left and right so it's jittering a bit like this. And that causes the particles beside it to also jitter left and right. And this one jitters left and right. And this one does. And also you've got some up and down going on here. So you can see that these, um, these vibrations are being sent very quickly through the, the solid because they're packed in so tightly that when one molecule here starts vibrating, the ones beside it have to start vibrating. So the, the energy ends up passing through the, the solid very quickly. And that's even more true for what we call elastic materials. An elastic material is a medium that retains its original shape. So when it's vibrated, it might shake around a bit, but it, it goes back to its original shape in the end. And so those, again, transfer waves very well. Whereas waves in fluids, and fluids include liquids and gases, so this is liquids and gases, this is less efficient than solid. And we'll say that liquids are still better at transmitting than gas. So the fact that you can hear sound in the air, when I'm talking you can hear me speak, that's sound through gas, whereas gas is still the least efficient at transferring um, sound. So in fact, if, if you were underwater, you could hear me better. It might be hard to understand what I'm saying, but the sound would travel to you to a lot easier. And if you had your ear up against a table and somebody was making noise on the table, you could hear that the best because it travels the best through solids. Okay, and the last thing we'll say here is that in gases, the um, waves use mostly translational movement. And that means that in our liquids and solids, we're transmitting these vibrations. The particles stay where they are, but they just vibrate a bit. And I said that that's usually we have a net movement of zero. But in gases, that's not so true anymore. You can see in the picture to the right here of, of gases that 
all our particles are just running around bouncing into each other. And so when we have sound passing through a gas, what actually happens is we do have the particles moving a fair bit before they bump into something else. And so that we do have this translational movement. This guy's moving, and this guy's moving, and this guy's moving. And so that's one difference between gases and, and the other two. All right, so I promised it's a short lesson. That's it. Take a look at the questions. It's really just an introduction to the idea of vibrations. Great, I hope you enjoyed it.